Hi guys, this is my cat, Bella, or Chloe, depending on who you ask. My twins think that she looks like um, Chloe from The Secret Life of Pets. So half the time they call her Chloe and half the time they call her Bella. Which I guess is true of me too because I mostly call her Bella, but I also kind of wish we had named her Chloe because she does look like Chloe from Secret Life of Pets. So every now and then I'll call her Chloe too. It's Bella or Chloe depending on who you ask and what time of day it is and all of that. So let me show her to you again. She is a big girl and when we got her, um, we, um, I don't want to say we rescued her because it's not like she was about to be put down, but there was a family that needed to rehome her um, due to just various things and so we got her and she um, had been on a, like a free range diet um, where she could just eat any Thing that she wanted all day you know like they just kept the food out and so she was hefty and um, so when we got her we stuck with for the time we stuck with the type of food that she had been accustomed to just because when you're transitioning a cat to a new home you don't want to switch too much stuff up at one time and you want things to be as familiar as they can as they adjust to their new surroundings, their new home, all of that. So we kept her on that food, but we started um, feeding her only twice a day at certain times, you know, in the morning and in the evening. Um, and then after the first few days, we started cutting back on the amount that we were giving her. And so I don't want anybody to think that we are starving her or anything like that. She gets plenty to eat, and we have consulted a vet about it. Um, so yeah so anyway she was going from eating um i want to say it was like well of course with her previous owner she was on she was eating like who knows how much she was eating she was eating a lot sorry i can't quite seem to decide what to do with my hair um so but she was eating a lot and so when we first got her we we started feeding her um I think she was eating like a cup and a half a day and then we slowly went down to um i think like three fourths of a cup a day she might be, I'm trying to remember how big the scoop is. I think, I want to say it's, I want to say it's a fourth a cup and we feed it to her, yeah, three times a day now. Um, so yeah, she's getting three fourths of a cup. So not even quite a full cup a day. And like I said, we have talked to the vet about this. You know, it's, the, the vet is on, you know, on the same page as we are with it. So I wanted to show you though, um, I unfortunately don't have like a before picture to show you, but she has definitely lost weight um, just from dialing her food back a little bit. We did, once she used up the food that they had sent with her when they rehomed her, once she used that up, we did get her um, a weight management plus like furball management type food. The one we're using right now is by Imes. Um, and so I so far I've been pretty happy with that one. I think that she likes it. She had been having some tummy troubles. <laughs> hey you. And of course there's Evie. It wouldn't be oh her without oh her and Evie. Um she'd been having some tummy troubles and I feel like Imes has really helped with that. Um she seems to really like that. So so after we got her used to her new feeding regimen, hey, hey Bella. Chloe, whatever your name is. Hey, cat. Are we cool? We're cool. After we got used to the new feeding regimen, then we started putting her feeding dishes up on a counter where she would have to jump up to get to it. So kind of forcing her to exercise. Um, and it's not a super high counter. It's not ridiculous. It's not anything unreasonable to expect her to do. Um, but yeah, so we st we um, dialed back her feeding and then did what we could, you know, playing with her, things like that to get her to move more, to exercise more. And then that last step was to put her food up on a counter where she had to jump up to get it. And she has not had the first problem with it. She has been fine. She did go ahead and lose a few pounds. I think when we got her, she was at 18 pounds. And now she, I want to say she's at um, 14 now. So four pounds on a cat is like, it, it's a noticeable difference. I mean, four, yeah, four, four pounds on a cat is a very noticeable difference. And um, so it really, and it hasn't been, it hasn't been very hard. It hasn't been, uh, it's not 
it's not the same as with humans a lot of times. Um, and or it could be that like humans, different cats are different. So if you are trying to figure out how to help your cat lose weight, it could be that just like humans and different things work for different people, different things maybe work for different cats. Um, but I did want to share our cat's weight loss journey, our um, Bella's or Chloe's weight loss journey. And um, just encourage you, if you are trying to help your cat lose weight, that it is doable and those are just some really easy tips that you can do. Just dial back on the food, try to interact and play with them um, more, and possibly even try switching brands of food as well. Make sure, if it is an indoor cat, make sure that you're giving them an indoor food. Um, and something maybe that helps with um, the weight loss. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a diet cat food, like a weight loss diet. Um, cat food, but indoor cat foods are definitely formulated differently than outdoor cat foods. Um, and then that last step is once they have lost a little bit, but you're still hoping they lose a little bit more, um, put their food somewhere where they have to exercise to get to it. Put it somewhere higher where they have to jump up and get it. <laughs> and that's all for today. And that is the weight loss journey of our cat. I hope you enjoyed and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye. Bye guys.